Hey, this is Jeff. Yeah, you remember that happy-go-lucky guy? The one you told about his two-faced cheating slut of a wife? I just took some photos. But yeah, now how you doing now anyway? You leave that bitch? You could say I uh, cut some ties. Meet me at the garage off Silicon Street at the northeast corner of Middle Park. I need your help. What's going on? Yeah, I got a bit of a problem. A bit of a big fucking problem. What's going on? Yeah. Jeff really did it this time. Jeff went too far. Jeff's been a bad boy. A really bad boy. What are you saying, lunatic? Remember my wife, Shirley? She had an accident in the kitchen. What kind of an accident? Oh, the kind of accident where you stab yourself 50 fucking times with a kitchen knife? You fucking old. Fuck my friend, will you? Huh? Well, who's laughing now, bitch? Huh? Not you, you fucking dead whore! Hey, buddy. Whoa! Calm down! Hey, fuck you! Don't be an idiot. Now, what do you want me to do? Get rid of her and get rid of the car, hey? Uh... Okay, but it's going to cost you five grand. Sure, whatever. Give me the keys. Put the gun away. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, Jeff really messed up this time, didn't he? Oh. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shit! Pull ah. over to the side of the road. I got rid of that body for you. You should be clean. Now all you need to worry about is your conscience. The whore! She brought this on herself. Practically stabbed herself by letting him give it to her. Thanks. Hey, okay, yet problem.
Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. Conflict resolution in here, pal. Stay safe, stay Second Amendment. to a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? <sighs> I heard he's being moved. Uh, maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy. Just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. The same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico, I 
hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley. Off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley is attached to go through the boot tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and dead? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey, buddy, we're gonna need you to move this thing. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. All right, all right, I'll try to lose this fucking cup. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, man. First thing we got to do is dump this prison van. Cops will be looking. Okay, there's a car. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Ouch come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless. So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. Fresh beginning. Good luck to you. A fun way to go. Thank you. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Auger Street. One lesson I've learned, Nico. Assume everyone knows everything. Somehow, chubby Charlie Mateo has found out it was us who ripped off the Russian coke. He is about to take a chopper into Algonquin to share that knowledge with the commissioner. 
You want me to take this fat man out before that happens? If you don't, then it'll be the Pecorinos going to the mattresses with every one of the Liberty City families. Not only is we gonna be looking over our shoulders every two seconds, but we ain't gonna be able to earn. Well, I'll do my best to shut him up then. Great, I gotta go get noticed so I ain't a suspect. Now, the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later.
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No, he's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. The meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a This is Cain and Abel's stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice. Neither of us had the choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. 
Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. You don't know the half. This is the last bit of juice I got on this thing. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I want to go to Strower Avenue. You got it? Sorry about the... Okie dokie, friend. Here we are. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But feel, and I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. He's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough. You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive in that event. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want.
There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico! Situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. Speed up, Nico! We're screwed otherwise! We can't let those fans run the boss off the road! Get them! Trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon oh. shit. Court, and they better not flip you either. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't 
think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys. Shit. I'm sorry. It's harder every time. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Forgive me, I need the car. Don't touch me! Help me! I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hard couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? The charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' room. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. About your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye.
And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too! Go easy there, Nico! I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck! I met my brother, Francis! It was a joke! Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Finally, it's time to say goodbye to my brother. Amen.
Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. Come down. <laughs> 